Welcome to another segment of Across the Nation here on AmericanFreePress.net. I'm with film producer Chris Martini, who produced the new docudrama Trooper, and it was shown here at an annual conference in Dallas, Texas of the National Gulf War Resource Center, which also welcomes Ross Perot tonight, August 6th, as a keynote speaker. Chris has done some other noted films. Chris, thanks for being with me. Thank you, Mark, for having me. I, I love talking about my movie, and I want to get it out there, so ask me as many questions as you can. <laughs> well, one of the main ones is, what inspired you to do Trooper? I don't think you've done a lot of documentaries, maybe none, and I think you stepped forward into the documentary realm, and not only did, it, did you do that, you did it about a war and peace issues, how it devastates a family, and you also are an actor yourself in the film. You're the main actor, in fact, and that, that was surprising for me to see at the uh, screening today here at this Gulf War Resource Center event, but uh, just explain very briefly how this came about and what the film is about, what, what the central message is, or what, yes, what you hope yes. to accomplish. I edited a documentary on Gulf War veterans uh, about Gulf War syndrome, and it struck me that soldiers were not being taken care of when they got home. So. Uh, because I come from a narrative film background, I wanted to write a feature film script with actors and communicate this message because it's something that you don't see in movies. You see a lot of combat related films with veterans and not many films about you know, the health effects and dealing with the psychological and, but also the environmental uh, impact and the health concerns of that. So. You know, I wanted to make a story with actors, and and I felt like it was a very powerful way to to communicate this message. Is this your acting debut? Is this the first film of yours that you've acted in? I, I did some acting a long time ago, and uh, I wrote and direct directed and produced and edited this film. I did way too many things, and I decided that there was no one better to play the part than me because I actually knew the lines. <laughs> Interesting. Now, what is this central thing you want viewers to come away from this film with? What, what do you want them to learn or know or feel or, or take away with them? Uh, it's, it's not a film about pro-war, anti-war. It's a film about soldiers. It's, uh, you know, I want them to take a look at their lives and the sacrifice they make so that when they come home they get exactly what they need and and that we understand what they're going through what they need in terms of medical care and respect and to be honored for exactly. serving their country yes, yes. and you show you're playing the central soldier who is not getting what he needs he's been probably exposed to depleted uranium, a weapons component and armor component that can be aerosolized and fragmented, it's radioactive, it can cause birth defects, cancer, this is pretty much documented. You do bring that out in the film even though it's not pro or anti-war, but you're, you're showing yourself as a soldier who's had his life kind of decimated and then through that drama you hope to bring out the fact that people like that need help. He's, this, the character in my film, Trooper, he's been through everything. He's been through uh, combat, explosions, you know, he's lost his friends. Uh, but he's also been exposed to a lot of contaminated uh, materials and, you know, blowing around in the, in the wind. And, you know, depleted uranium is a controversial subject. But, you know, I've only seen it dealt with in documentaries. I've never seen it in a narrative film. So our, I think ours is the first to do that. And how do we learn how to get a hold of a copy of Trooper or where it's being screened very briefly? To get a hold of Trooper, email me directly and if I like you we'll go out to lunch. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, triple Martini at Verizon.net, T-R-I-P-L-E-M-A-R-T-I-N-I -E at Verizon.net. Very good. Chris Martini, producer and actor who has done a very good service, I think, for showing the need for veterans, whatever we may think of our interventionist foreign policy, these troops need to be honored and taken care of when they get back as we decide what our priorities are in this country, whether we're spreading our military too thin around the globe. These decisions need to be made by a very derelict Congress, by a very um, uh, intransigent government at times that doesn't want to tackle the hard issues, that pours money into these things without thinking of the consequences. At any rate, you helped us think about the consequences through your film. Thanks, Mark. I have one quick close closing statement. If you ever see a soldier, you know, don't ask him about the combat. Ask him how he's doing. Ask him how he's feeling. You know? And thanks for that thought, Chris. We'll see you next time. I'm Mark Anderson, AFP editor here on AmericanFreePress.net with Across the Nation.